Kims. Hi, my name is Paul, and this video is going to show you how to do a basic setup on the eBot. So the first thing is going to remove the eBot from the backpack that we had it in. Put it down here on the table. It's a two-step process to get the camera in place. So the very first thing I'm going to do is press the blue button on the side of the arm. And just extend that arm and click it into place. And then the second step is just flipping over the camera. We're going to go ahead and install our battery, which has one side of it. It's got its black connection here. And I want to just slide that into the very bottom of the eBot unit. I'm just going to press in with one finger and click it into place. The last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and connect our power. And I've got my AC adapter and my power cord, and I want to firmly put those two together. If you have a loose connection, it's not going to add power to the eBot, and that will be a problem. So the final step here, before we power up the eBot, is to connect our DC connection into the eBot unit. And that's going to give us power. So now, to power up the eBot unit, I'm going to press the red power button. This is going to take about 30 to 45 seconds to power up. And while it's doing that, I wanted to go ahead and show you how to install the batteries into the remote control. So I'm going to flip over the back. And I'm going to use my two thumbs to press off that cover. And I'm going to insert the batteries. And the, the last thing that's very important that I want to show you inside the remote control is our channel selector. So on back of the eBot unit and the remote control, you need to make sure that it is set on the same channel. On this one, it's set on zero. And on the back of the eBot unit itself, we have our channel selector right here. And there's an arrow on that button in the middle, and it's indicating it's on zero two. So that tells me that the remote control is programmed to work on this eBot. And so to move on here, we got to replace the cover back onto the remote control and turn on the power button. So now we should be ready to go. The next step I'm going to take is going to show you how to set up our wireless connection using our iPad. So I'm going to go into settings Light off. and I'm going to choose the eBot down here and it's going to connect to the eBot. And the last thing we need to do is go into the eBot viewer that we've already downloaded from the App Store. So you can go to your Android or your Apple Store and download the eBot viewer for free. So we're going to click on that. And now we're actually viewing what the eBot is viewing. So using my joystick on the wireless remote control, I can move down on the document. I can move up. I can move left, right. I can increase magnification. Zoom 18. Zoom 25. Zoom, zoom 27. I can actually press the OCR button for a screenshot so it'll start reading what's on the screen. Motorized camera joystick. I'll move the camera to read the dock or the remote. We also have full page OCR on it. We've got near view and distant view. And that's our basic setup for the eBot and some basic features. Good luck and have a good time.